It's Tuesday the 20th of December. I'm Matt from Liquid Loans and these are your top DeFi newsworthy updates. The market's retraced further in the past week with more coins sitting in the red than not and Bitcoin wasn't able to hold the 17k mark it's been dancing around since the beginning of this month and is now at $16,773, down 2.4%, with Ethereum losing even more ground, sitting at $1,206, down 5.4% in the past seven days at the time of filming. BTC's breakdown is its lowest level in more than two weeks and was a complete turnaround from the momentary excitement that was seen on the 14th of December, where we saw the price rise close to 18k. The latest drop though was in correlation with the S&P 500, which also dropped 3.5% in the past week, as it seems investors aren't ready to be long on either crypto or equities for now. Also, the central banks of the United States, England, the European Union and Switzerland increased interest rates by 50 basis points, highlighting that borrowing costs will likely continue rising for longer than the market had hoped. So for now, the downward trend continues, not only in crypto, but across all markets. And it seems very likely that Bitcoin will retest 16K in the near future. Former FTX CEO Sam Bankman-Fried was arrested last week in the Bahamas and is currently facing multiple charges related to wire fraud and securities fraud. Reportedly, he said he wanted to see the indictment against him before agreeing to be extradited to the United States. Appearing in an emergency hearing on December 19th for the first time since his bail was denied, SBF reportedly said he was willing not to fight the process required for extradition to the United States, but wanted to see all the charges against him. Since his arrest, SBF spent the last week in the Bahamas Fox Hill Prison, a facility which is known for cases of physical abuse against prisoners and harsh conditions. Last Tuesday, federal prosecutors in New York charged Bankman Freed with eight counts of fraud and conspiracy, which could see him face up to 115 years in prison if convicted on all eight counts. On top of that, US market regulators filed civil lawsuits accusing Bankman Freed of defrauding investors and customers, saying he built a house of cards on a foundation of deception while telling investors that it was one of the safest buildings in crypto. So SBF's fall from grace continues to go from bad to worse, with a former billionaire's bail denied as he's now seen as a flight risk and now possibly looking at life behind bars. The Nigerian government is reportedly set to pass a law that will recognize the usage of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as a means to keep up to date with global practices. An interview with the House of Representatives Committee on Capital Markets Chairman Babin Gida Ibrahim stated that if the Investments and Securities Act of 2007 bill is signed into law, it would allow the local Securities and Exchange Commission to recognize cryptocurrency and other digital funds as capital for investment. Ibrahim stressed the need for Nigeria to keep up to date with the trends and developments in the capital markets, which is a complete 180 from their position on digital assets just over 18 months ago. In February 2021, the Nigerian government tried to crack down on crypto activity by banning it, but adoption continued to increase and had zero effect on citizens wanting to use cryptocurrencies. Nigerians have also shown little to no interest in Nigeria's CBDC, the e-Naira, which only had a 0.5% adoption rate in October, 12 months after its launch. So it looks as though Nigeria have taken the if you can't beat them, then join them approach and raises the question which other countries will follow suit soon turning from banning cryptos to recognizing them as a legitimate asset that can be used for the exchange of goods and services and to aid the economy overall. More than 350 fraudulent cryptocurrency tokens were created per day this year, defrauding millions of investors, according to blockchain risk monitoring firm Solidus Labs. From the start of the year to December the 1st, 117,629 scam tokens were deployed, according to their 2022 rug pull report, with a 41% increase from 2021. The report states that the BSC chain is the home to the greatest number of scam tokens, 
with 12% of all BEP20 tokens being fraudulent, and the Ethereum network was second, with around 8% of all ERC20 tokens alleged to be scams. A rug pull is the name given to a type of crypto exit scam where an individual or team creates a token and pumps up its price before selling their share, extracting all of the value from the project and then abandoning it as the price nosedives to zero. Scams have been a long blight on the crypto space and have kept legitimate investors away due to them not knowing how to tell legit from scam and therefore hindering crypto adoption. Better education is needed for new investors who many times buy coins from information they find on Twitter or a Telegram message, but in reality, a savvy investor would do a deep dive on the website, white paper, tokenomics and team before parting with any cash. But as long as scammers can make people feel that they can get rich overnight and tap into the FOMO emotions all humans have, rug pulls won't be going away anytime soon. This has been your DeFi update on Tuesday, the 20th of December, 2022. If you like videos like this, do hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you're notified every time we drop new videos on the channel. You can also tap the like button and share the video with someone who you think it may benefit. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.